Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Before starting video, if you have not subscribed our channel, then please subscribe our channel and to get each and every update, please click on the bell icon. And if you have not watched the previous video, then please watch it. Those will help you to understand this video. In this video, we will learn about message source. What is resource bundle message source? message source implementation that accesses resource bundles using specified base names. This class relies on the underlying JDK's resource bundle implementation, in combination with the JDK's standard message parsing provided by message format. This message source caches both the accessed resource bundle instances and the generated message formats for each message. It also implements rendering of no ARG messages without message format, as supported by the abstract message source base class. The caching provided by this message source is significantly faster than the built-in caching of the resource bundle class. Unfortunately, resource bundle cache is loaded bundles forever reloading a bundle during VM execution is not possible. As this message source relies on resource bundle, it faces the same limitation. Consider reloadable resource bundle message source for an alternative that is capable of refreshing the underlying bundle files. Let's implement. Before starting anything let's run and see everything is working fine or not. Service started. See it's working fine. Let's read all these labels from messages properties files. Let's create a file under the resources folder and file name should be messages and properties. To increase the font directly press CTRL plus and to reduce CTRL minus. Let's create a bean for resource bundle message source. Add a base name property. Now add a label and a property file. To access those labels need to add tag library of spring. See it's very simple. Let's run again and see labels are coming from a properties file or not. Service started. See it's coming from message and properties file. Let's move all labels.
let's run again see whatever changes we added just now it's coming or not. Let's replace other page labels. See all labels replaced. Let's run again see it's working or not. Oops 500 internal server error is coming because we missed one label. Now just to reload this page, see it's showing properly. Let's review whatever we added. Thanks for watching. If you like this video then please click the like button. We will come back shortly with new video. Till the time happy learning.